Nigga shit, that's why your bitch like me VVs and my groupies keep long I'm that nigga, I can't let a nigga try me I'm hype, poppin' hot shit, come and find me Y'all nigga shit, that's why your bitch like me all of that's white the chicken is too white this too white it's too white everyone loves food if you don't love food i don't know what you're doing because food is one of the beautiful tastiest things in the world that's why we're gonna watch lazy tiktok food recipes will make you hungry night in my dream i see you i see you the boy on pia aka from the air force gang y'all guys are the air force gang um don't forget to subscribe like share and let's get it I've been making these tortilla pizzas multiple times a week since I learned how to do it. So just put olive oil in a cast iron and then lay down a flour tortilla. Ooh. Spread it with pasta sauce and then spread spread it. it with sprinkle, sprinkle. Cheese, which I highly recommend you shred yourself because it makes a big, big difference. Mm. Sprinkle it with Parmesan and fresh basil if you have it and then throw it under the broiler for just a couple minutes. Boiler? It seriously tastes like a real thin crust pizza. Oh, it looks good it as well. Oh, can I oil? eat it with you? Hold on, what is that? There. Just kidding, put in two pieces and then roll it into a ball. Cover the ball with olive oil. Put on a little bit of Italian seasoning. Now oh. air fry at 400 for seven to eight minutes. This is right out of the air fryer. Dip with marinara and enjoy. I have never made this for someone that Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that didn't look that good, so... <clears throat> didn't like it, it's even kid approved, and it's also one of my favorite dishes. This was a giant head of cauliflower, normally I use one whole one, but this one was so big I ended up only using half. Okay. You're just gonna want to break up the cauliflower head into very tiny florets like this, and I throw it on a lined baking sheet with parchment paper for easy cleanup. It look like popcorn. Roast cauliflower for about 20 minutes and get popcorn. your sauce going. This Oi. is a cup of Pop. heavy cream, a little bit of cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and mozzarella, and hmm. y'all seem to really enjoy simple seasonings, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of salt and pepper. Hmm. Give that a good mix and melt everything together. Then throw the cauliflower and the cheese sauce in a large casserole dish. You guys know I love my Pioneer Woman stuff. I like topping mine with a little bit of Parmesan cheese for a crust, and then it goes back in the oven for about 30 minutes. Mm. You guys already know, for more easy recipes like this, be sure to hit that follow button. Looks like a lasagna. You absolutely have to make these loaded. I don't know if it's really that good, but it looked kind of good. Maybe because of the cheese. <laughs> fries in your air fryer line your air fryer with aluminum foil okay they really i don't got a air fryer about 15 minutes it really that, looks easy cheddar cheese bacon bits and some chives mm. no measurements go nuts put them back in for another two or three minutes i just could not believe how good and easy these were like comment and follow me for more have you tried fried rice like this before this is golden egg fried rice mm. also known as gum wong tafan you can add egg yolks to room temperature what the rice heck the rice becomes more golden colored and has well i feel when i'm watching this i feel like i'm shitting i'm shitting in a toilet i'm toilet the toilet the toilet i'm like 60 two hours six hours eight hours in the toilet it's crazy the richer taste put the ingredients by chopping chinese broccoli stems and Chinese sausage, not Chinese and Cantonese. In high heat, add oil and your separated egg whites. Fry and set aside. Egg whites! Fry your Chinese sausage, or you can use your favorite protein and set aside. Add your mixed yolk rice and fry until the rice isn't stuck together. Next, add your Chinese broccoli and the sausage you sauteed earlier. Mix and fry for a couple of minutes. Add some soy sauce and some sugar. Add back the egg whites and chop green onions. Do a final stir and you're done. This rice if you haven't already how to make the best ever silk look kind of good i'm not gonna lie but you're gonna shit you're gonna shit believe me lemon butter pasta start off by melting four tablespoons of butter in a large skillet add one half teaspoon of garlic powder and whisk to combine 
Add one fourth cup of dry white wine, I like Chardonnay, and then crank the heat in order to simmer and reduce the sauce for a couple of minutes. Reduce the sauce. Next, add one half cup of heavy whipping cream. Let the sauce simmer for a minute and then add another one half cup of heavy whipping cream. Next up, fresh lemon juice from one lemon. Turn the heat setting to low and continuously whisk the sauce on and off until your pasta is done. Add the cooked pasta to your simmering sauce and season with a little bit of black pepper before serving. That didn't look that good as well. Oh. Ooh, it looks beautiful, not gonna lie. But if it... Hold up. Huh? Hey, hey. Grab a mini watermelon. But water does it taste beautiful? Shit. Cut it in half long ways. Scrape out the watermelon, eat it or save it for later. Now grab your favorite fruit. If you're using strawberries or kiwi. Nah, see, see. My watermelon, I love that. I love the other fruits, I'm not gonna lie, but. Uh, scraping out watermelon to put other fruit in it. That's crazy. Set that aside, grab a bowl. <coughs> Wait, can we admire how aesthetic that looks? Wow. Add in two cups of room temp water, four packets of unflavored gelatin. If you want to, you can add in a half a cup of sugar. Whisk it together until it's dissolved. Now boil two cups of water. When it's done, pour it into the mixture. <laughs> Bless you. Mix it slowly. It should look like this. Once you've added in a handful of each fruit, layer it with the mixture. Don't fill it with fruit all the way so that you can leave a layer of the mixture on top. Uh, don't mind my contraption, but leave it in the fridge overnight. Let's take it out of the fridge. Ah, I'm so excited. Also, in part one, I told you to use four packets. I don't know why I said that. I okay, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. It looks un it looks dope, but it looks crazy as well. Like, you know what I mean? Today we're making Olive Garden's breadsticks, but ten mm. And if you want the recipe for the chicken yoki soup, it's in my last video. But to get started, you want one cup of warm water, one can whipped cream cheese frosting, optional walnuts, one pack cinnamon swirl cake, packet one, packet two. Don't mix it. One and a half sticks of butter sliced thin. Make it 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. You guys, this is my favorite. I used to make these all the it time. Looks good as well. So Ooh. Good. You're just going to crack an egg. Waffle. And, and I got a piece Pizza. of a freaking shell in there. And it's so annoying. Freaking and dude. Add half a cup mozzarella, some seasonings. And listen, the key to making chaffles, put a plate under your waffle maker for a super easy cleanup. Now you're just going to spray it with hairspray. Top your mix with pepperonis. Dip it in some marinara. Today we're making mozzarella stuff. That was fast. That was fast. They're packed full of flavor and also the perfect appetizer. Oh, it looks like a you want to begin with about six cookie, but not peel, wash, and chop them up. And we want to boil them until they're fork tender. Once your potatoes are ready, it's time to season them. Two tablespoons of unsalted butter, one tablespoon of dried parsley, tablespoon of garlic powder and onion powder, half tablespoon black pepper, a tablespoon of paprika, teaspoon of salt, and also a half a teaspoon of cayenne. Mash it up, then you want to add two eggs and mix. Lastly, you want to add one cup of all-purpose flour. Fold everything together until it creates a nice dough. Then you want to form your dough into smaller balls and stuff it with your mozzarella cheese. Flatten it down into a patty shape, and once you're done with your entire batch, it's time to fry them. Fry on low to medium heat until they're golden brown on each side, and you're done. Oh, you know they look good. They look good! ...line that you just need to make immediately because you cannot stop thinking about them. I really hope that's not just me. Hold up. I got a question as well. If you guys are chopping onions, are you all crying or it's just me? Tell me down below. But when I saw this on Cook It <coughs> page, I knew I was going to be making it soon. These are French onion soup pork chops. I am just patting them dry, seasoning them with kosher salt and pepper. And then in my cast iron pan, I'm going to melt a little bit of butter and butter. sear on each side. I'm not it looks all the way. I just fed. It looks fed as fuck. Then I'm gonna take those out, add in two sliced onions with a little bit of butter, a pinch of salt, keep cooking them, let them get nice and brown Cook and caramelized. It. When they look like this, add a little bit of balsamic vinegar, mix that all together, cover it with some beef stock. I added a little bit of Dijon mustard. Just keep cooking it, it will get really thick, and then I smothered it over the pork chops, topped it with some provolone cheese, threw it in the oven to melt. This was freaking amazing. Let me know if you guys try it.
your instant pot and I didn't know that she would put the cheese there with the yeah nah nah three chicken breasts yeah they're still frozen but thank god for the instant pot season the chicken with some paprika garlic powder some onion powder a little bit of italian seasoning and of course salt and pepper season Pleasure it with good your heart add three and a half cups of low sodium chicken stock add half a white onion chopped Add about one pound of elbow pasta and add a good amount of minced garlic. Measure that with your heart. Make sure everything is submerged. If it's not, add a little bit more chicken stock till it is. Put the lid on, make sure it's on sealing. Cook for manual high pressure for 10 minutes. Release pressure when done. Take out the chicken and start shredding. Oh no, that's white. The chicken is too white. This is too white. It's too white. Three fourths of a cup hey. of fat free half and half and some Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Crazy. Let's go, chocolate. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make Ooh. onions and sugar pretzels. You wanna start Looks off with one good. and one fourth cups of warm water. Looks good, one good, good, one good, good, sugar, good. Aside. In your mixer bowl attachment, you wanna add good, three and a half good, cups of good. flour. Good, good, good. And after letting your yeast mixture sit for ten minutes, go ahead and add it in, and you wanna knead your dough for about five minutes. You wanna add your dough to an oiled bowl and let it rest for twenty minutes. After twenty minutes, flour your surface, and you wanna create nine dough balls. Then you want to cover your dough again with a towel and let it rest for another five minutes. Once your dough has rested, go ahead and roll it out. Here I'm demonstrating how to twist your pretzels. You want to boil a pot of water with one fourth cup of baking soda. Once your water comes to a boil, go ahead and boil your pretzels for 30 seconds on each side. Add your pretzels to an oiled baking sheet. And we're going to bake at 400 degrees for eight minutes. Looks While good. Baking, I Satisfies as well. And, some butter. and finally, I brush them with the butter and dip them into my cinnamon sugar. And we're done. Butter girl. Yes, sir. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, I think the first that really that I really thought, you know, I'm gonna eat right away was the first of the video. So the pizza, pizza looks good. I love pizza. Um, yeah, man. Tell me down below what y'all guys thought, what your favorite food was in the video, and I'll check it out, man. Air Force. Yeah. Nice one, Dizzle.